Hello and welcome back to uh, the channel. I am back with another movie review. And for this one, I'm reviewing the 1967 British produced sci fi film um, called Night of the Big Heat, or as it was known in the US when it was released there in 1971. Island of the Burning Damned. Um, this has got a fantastic cast. It's uh, directed by Terence Fisher, who is well known on these shows um, for directing a lot of the classic Hammer Horror movies, and that's reflected in the cast because it reunites to my favourite horror actors Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee um, basically it's um, it's based on a novel that was released in 1959 by John Limington um, what um, what it's basically about it's um, it's largely set in a uh, pub on the island of Fara, which is off, um, a small island off the British mainland. Um, uh, it's run by a couple called Jeff and Frankie Callum, played by Patrick Allen and Sarah Lawson. Um, uh, basically, the island is hit by a massive heat wave, um, and it's a bit of a mystery what causes it. Uh, there's a there's a minor subplot in that um, uh, Jeff um, has a sad role. Um, as a professional novelist and he has a has a secretary um to come help him out with um all his uh, sad roles and it turns out that the woman that was hired who comes to stay with them is Jeff's mistress. Um and basically she she travels there um basically to tempt him tempt him back and his wife just merely assumes that she's there as a secretary she doesn't find out at first um what was going on between the two until she catches them kissing um so that that sort of on the um on the sides the main plot um revolves around this mystery phenomenon where people on the island um are hit with a bright light a high pitch squeaking a uh, high pitch noise and they're mysteriously found burnt to death and it's up to um, Christopher Lee's character who um, plays a rather strange um, uh, scientist called Godfrey Hansen who's renting a room at the pub um, And he spends a lot of his time around the island with his motion sensitive cameras taking up um, soil samples um, and a lot of, a lot of, as I said, a lot of the locals start turning up burnt alive um, including two of the pub uh, regulars um, 
Bob Hayward and a guy called Tinker who um, moments before he's uh, burnt alive starts losing his mind a bit because of the ongoing heat wave and he basically forces himself on um, Jeff's mistress who uh, brains him with a frying pan in, t- in a typical housewife style um, so it's um, Jeff Hansen and Dr Stone the local physician played by Peter Cushing are sent out to fan to find out um, get to the, get to the bottom basically what's going on but Stone himself ends up as one of the next um one of the next um victims and another um victim after that when Hansen uh, goes to explore himself turned out to be Bob's wife um who'd been killed earlier. Um, um, it com- comes to pass that it's an alien phenomenon and the, um, the aliens that are behind it are basically attracted to bright lights um, and um, So they're trying to come up with ways to uh, try to destroy the aliens. Nothing works. Handsome winds up dead. Um, when the meteorologist uh, winds up, winds up dead. And then it's looking pretty hopeless for Jeff, Frankie, Angela, and uh, the main meteorologist Ken. And then the solution comes when a big thunderstorm hits and it, it basically drives out all the aliens. It, so, yeah, it's basically, um, it's, an, it's your typical British corny sci-fi, but I, I really enjoyed it. It's something completely different. It's a plot you don't tend to see of a strange phenomenon driven by a massive heat wave um so yeah i would i would highly recommend it if you're a fan of the sort of chemistry between christopher lee and peter cushion in the ham films you're going to love this because the few scenes they have together they were they the magic is there um, the sad part was a bit unneeded with the um, revelation of the secretary being the mistress of the landlord. That wasn't needed, although um, is it please? Uh, Jane Merrow. Um, she is. Absolutely stunned, I have to say. Um, probably not now because she's in the, um, she's in the late seventies, but back then she, wow, she was a really good looking woman. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely want to check out if you're a fan of that. Um, that sort of genre of film. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you've seen it, what you thought of it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, there's more movie reviews um, up on the channel. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. But until next time, I've been a Blue Geek. This has been Blue Geek Reviews, and I will see you 
again soon.